The Chrono Jet Stride deck set is here and it's going to completely change Vanguard Overdress. So let's unbox it. If you still need a beautiful playmat, you can go to zerodamagegaming.com and use the code SOLEM for a discount. If you still need a beautiful deck box, you can go to zerodamagegaming.com and use the code SOLEM for a discount. And if you need some new Vanguard cards, you can go to 50cards.shop and use the code SOLEM for a discount. It's always the code SOLEM for a discount. We're on the mat, but this beautiful box actually also contains a mat and a deck box. Super excited for this. This is like a combo deck. It brings striding to overdress. It's overpowered as all hell. And it's basically a competitive ready deck in a box. Like this is something standard badly needs, you know, in an age where everyone is crying about the price of the game. And with good reason, sometimes you really, really welcome something like this. Now, would I like to see like even more decks like this being released? So we have some variety. Absolutely. But the idea of a strong deck in a box, I welcome it. So we open it up. Ho 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 ho. Okay. And the first thing we get is blank. Well, it's basically like the frame thing, right? So this comes with like a frame, okay, that we have to assemble ourselves. So we have right here the screws and everything. And then this is the frame. That'll be fun assembly required. And this doesn't have anything anymore. Oh, and here we have the real goodness. So we have these counters that you still need to assemble yourself as well. I, I don't know why, but um, so these are like see-through right now. And these are the stickers. And we will put them on there. So if you want like a hundred million for when you get sacked by your opponent with the over trigger, then you can put that. I don't know why you would ever need boost or intercept, but like plus crit, persona right, plus drive, minus drive, and then the powers. That's all really, really useful. So I uh, will put that on later as well. Again, a lot of assembly required so far. Put that to the side as well. Then we have the mat that comes in this box. So if you're like really new to the game and you just want to buy like one thing, this is a great way to do it. Get rid of that shit. And then, oh, there's some bubble wrap inside. So your playmat actually comes with free bubble wrap. So if you want to have some fun. ASMR with Solemn. Crazy. But so it comes with this playmat, a really cool art. I, I heard Chris say that in Japan, some people aren't a fan of this artwork. Personally, I like the artwork, looks pretty slick. Let's put this to the side though. We're trying to have some room. Then it also comes with a deck box. So this is like the, the tin type of deck box you would sometimes get for free at a BCS or a Springfest as well, it seems like. Though this is like already assembled, so it's a bit nicer. Overall, I always like to have like thicker, sturdy deck boxes. I don't want to you know like, cause technically you, you can push like push these in, but you know, if you want to buy just one box and be ready, this is really solid. The only thing that's missing in here is sleeves, I believe. But okay, we'll keep going. Let's open that up. Okay, so this is the box. Ooh, I do like this. It comes with a little with a little tape stickery thing. The free boxes you would get at a Springfest would have like a little lip that you need to put inside and it's kind of cringe. Whereas this, this is nice. Okay, cool. And then we have, oh, oh yeah, the top loaders. So before we get into the deck, this box is now empty. So let me put away the box. Before we get into the deck, we also have like these top loaders. I think the top loaders are an IQ test. Oh no, okay, I found it. I think I failed the test. So you have just regular old top loaders. This is just super, super normal stuff right here. You can put in cards, but you have enough of them for your ride deck. So technically you could go like starter, grade one, grade two, grade three. And then this could be like the crest thing. As you know, the crest is super broken in Chrono Jet. Now, of course, you would be telling your opponent what you're playing, but I don't know if people are actually going to be mulliganing differently when they know you're playing Chrono Jet. Maybe for the grade two game. So maybe you don't want to use these for that. Maybe you would just want to leave these at home if you're trying to get like the maximum competitive edge i don't know i haven't really theory crafted uh, that kind of stuff just yet but it's something to consider now what do we do first i guess we can do the stickers i'm sorry if people who want to see the deck that comes later but you can skip in the video you're a big boy or a big girl or whatever in between we don't judge on the solemn vanguard channel whoa these make a weird noise Okay, I mean, sorry, but if it's an unboxing, you're getting the full experience here. Gonna be opening the coins. God, look uh, here. Awful. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, at least they're secure. Oh, there goes a coin. I'll put the deck here so you feel like it's still coming. So those were the coins. And now we have to put the stickers on. Really? Am I am I gonna put all... Okay, I'm just gonna grab my over trigger sticker. Okay, so that's the 100 million. And the other side can be something like... 
plus a crit. Okay, so you can basically see like right now it says plus one crit on one side and plus 100 million on the other side. But I really cannot be arsed to do that for all of these during the video. It'll also get really boring. So bye. And then we get rid of the dirt on this beautiful playmat. ZeroDamageGaming.com. Use the code Solemn if you want your own. Then we have the frame. Yeah, we're never getting to that deck. I will milk this video for all the minutes it can get. To be fair though, the frame is really cool because it comes with like a very fancy version of the crest. So if you don't know, the crest basically is like a special marker you get if you ride the correct grade one and overdress, you always do that. And then you get hella power. So, okay, let's remove this. Uh... Oh, wow. So this does look really nice though. Like now we got to remove this. Once again, this frame is also an IQ test. I feel like this entire box is like full of IQ tests. Oh, baby. There we go. So that's the top part of the frame. And then we have the middle part of the frame. I thought the crest was supposed to be in here. What the hell? If you're a woman opening this and you have like really fancy nails, find someone else to do it for you because this ain't happening. Or if you're a guy with really fancy nails, same thing. Because uh, seriously, like I have short nails and this just isn't working. But if you spend like a ton on like really fancy nail art and then and then you destroy it on this little this little frame, that, that doesn't feel quite worth it, you know? But we're getting there. Uh, oh, okay. Epic unveiling. Oh, this one's really easy. Nice. This is the black one. It feels like this will be very magnetic and thus... Whoa, look at me. Whoa. What a stud. <laughs> this will be very magnetic and uh, will therefore collect a lot of dust. So I would be very careful in the dust department. Let's just say that. This part of the frame, I'll put this on here just already. Ooh, yeah. Did you hear that? Like there's some ch -ch 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 magnetic stuff going on. And as you can already see, like even now there's already some dust. So I would be really careful not to get this full of dust because it won't look as nice. So this would be like with the little screws finished up. But first we need to crest from this. Let's open up this pit. Okay, the moment of glory, the moment you've been waiting for, the moment I've been stalling towards. Okay, so we have our chrono jet, we have another chrono jet, we have another chrono jet, we have another chrono jet. Whoa, it comes with four. Yes, this deck is completely finished. The only thing it's kind of missing is if you check out this grade one that gives you your crest. If you want to play this in premium, you might need more of them. And so now you're like hella sad because, well, there's only one in here because they're like, well, overdress, you have the right deck so you'll always have it yeah but we don't have a ride deck in premium so that's the that's the only uh, sad part all right we have our chrono jets then it comes with this backup grade three and then we have our grade twos now technically this deck is like really strong already out of the box but ideally you do still want to upgrade it a little bit uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see like a video where i go over what to upgrade okay we have these then we have uh perfect guards now i don't know if these perfect guards are the good skill or the bad one when this unit is put on g choose one of your units and it can only be hit until the end of battle if your hand is two or more cards choose a card from your hand and discard it oh it is the good skill okay awesome very excited for that wait this is a steam maiden you can play this in steam maiden premium and add it with a cat that's crazy. Okay, and then we have a Steam Breath Dragon, which is like our new grade three searcher, let's say. And then we have GB1 skills back in over... Holy shit. Okay, I need to zoom in on this. Look at this. During your turn, if any player's rear guard was put on the bottom of their deck, this unit gets plus five. This unit gets intercept and can intercept from the back row once you're at GB1. Wow. GB skills are back, baby. So we got GB skills back. We have our ponies doing that and then we have gg this is Ski steam scara gg this is an important card like this is one of the things you're definitely not fully cutting and we have an over trigger not foil so this is the only thing about this like the main deck is fully foiled out but then the triggers are actually not foil so the triggers are just basic now my assumption is that they do this because printing this in high rarity doesn't destroy any people's collection value but if these were printed in like higher rarities then suddenly you would go oh you have like these high rarity triggers maybe sps even too bad buddy that's at least my assumption i don't know if that's their reasoning of course and i don't know if i even agree with that because it's still different art but hey okay then we have the triggers put to the side right here we have the g zone so in v you don't have 
have strides in premium you do have strides and now in overdress you have strides specifically for this deck and also the messiah one that's coming let's zoom in on this this gorgeous moment where strides come back to overdress so this is next stage we have four sps so this is what you get in the premium stride deck set they're all sp but of course you can still play the game with just the regular version you don't need to bling out then we have this and oh also note that the, the name is like purple which is like really crazy then we have this boy apparently it's broken and then finally we get to the crests so we have two of them because one is supposed to be like used and the other is supposed to go in the frame but honestly look at this crest holy i almost want to put the wrong one in the frame just so i can use this like as my crest that thing looks insane holy shit okay that that is absolutely gorgeous and then finally uh, oh another of the grade three I, I don't know what's going on here but that's crazy so you have like the normal one which you get in i assume the regular one as well and then you have the crazy over the top wow they should use this type of foiling pattern more often. Bougiroad, what are you doing? Do, th do this on everything. Give me a Nitro's deck set and make something like this for me, please. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Now, one thing I wonder, we have this frame right here. How about I put the deck together again? Let's let's start with that. So the deck's together again. My one question is, we get this, but do we not have screwdrivers? How are we supposed to build this if it doesn't come with a screwdriver? Do we just assume that people have screwdrivers or is it because bushy road screws me every day ah! okay though so these are the little stands so you make, can make the frame stand up okay now now we need to ensure that we don't get the i don't know how you don't get dust on here though this is crazy and i don't feel like wiping it is helping at all i've given up i'm not even trying anymore i'm just gonna be happy if it's assembled even with the dust okay now we put in these little fellas okay and now we need a uh, screwdriver somehow wait how am i supposed to flip this over without these coming out once again we're back to doing iq tests here huh, shit fuck i hope that worked out so now gonna use the knife and hopefully that's enough oh it seems that was enough oh it is working it is doing something uh i don't think it's working there's no way i can oh no wait it was okay i think you have to do it one by one basically fair enough fair enough final screw okay we got it it's done look you can see me you can see my beard whoa you get like two angles of solemn this must be quite a moment for you then we take out the little standy thingies and i guess there's two more holes to put them into <laughs> wait there isn't huh wait are you supposed to put them in oh you're supposed to put them like here now i get it eh whatever we won't use them um i won't take your time even more than that so as you can see pretty frame uh, the only thing is this is actually not going to be straight by default you might actually need to put it in a sleeve or do a little bit like this and then it's also done this does look actually really gorgeous though like if you are a, a chrono jet fan boy this is like a really cool thing to have again we have like this crazy over the top marker i'm a huge fan of that's absolutely beautiful you have your coins you have your sp strides you have your not sp main deck but still like very very foily and blingy and then except for your triggers foil triggers sold separately <laughs> that is all for today i hope you found this very interesting be sure to like comment subscribe if you still need vanguard cards go to 50cards.shop and use the code solemn if you still need a beautiful play mad go to zero damagegaming.com and use the code solemn and if you still need a beautiful deck box go to zerodamagegaming.com is a good solemn. Again, these can fit like a double-sleeved deck with markers, with strides, and then, the, and then the top compartment fits your dice. Absolutely glorious. You can also have like different colors here. You can see it on the website. Super excited for them. Use a code SOLEM. And I will see you soon. Ciao.